you, you load outside the table you, you can have a driven a, a driven spare table or, or just a just just a static table that you move yourself you load your part you clamp your part the clamps automatically come on and then that stays live throughout the whole machining process even when you're turning at 900 revs So I'm with Lee Scott here. We're producing a series of videos on the new compact range from Hecate. In this episode, we're talking about the importance of work holding and fixturing and the security of, of holding, uh, not just those fixtures, but those parts and the mechanisms and the interfaces between them. So Lee, what is the importance of it and why does it matter so much? Let's start with the tables. We manufacture the tables ourselves. We manufacture them with tolerances of less than half that of a standard table manufacturing standard. So the top surface is ground in the same way that we scrape all the guideways on the machine. So it's pointless having a superb machine and then putting a fixture on a substandard table. Every interface, every mating surface needs to be perfect. Okay, now when you do mate a surface on the top of that table, how do you clamp that tombstone, that vice, or whatever that work holding solution is? How, do, how does it be secured? on the machine? Well, that depends on the customer. So traditionally you would have had a, a fixture with manual clamping. People still do that sometimes today. Um, what's becoming uh, more popular is automated clamping, so hydraulic clamps. We have 13 channels, up to 13 channels in the table, combination of hydraulics and pneumatics so that we can control how we clamp, how much we clamp, and, and, and control whether the parts sat down on the table properly. Okay, now controlling it we'll come back to, but what about the mechanics behind it? I don't see any hoses or any pipes, and I know this particular model's not got it on, but in some of the, the graphics that I've seen, it's quite clean. It's very clean. Everything comes through the centre of the table, and it's live. So you, you load outside the table, you, you can have a driven a, a driven spare table or, or just, a, just, just a static table that you move yourself load your part, you clamp your part, the clamps automatically come on and then that stays live throughout the whole machining process even when you're turning 900 revs. Okay now what about ensuring that I've got the right clamping pressures? Is it done here at the table or is it done in the control well, system? It's, it's programmable so uh, you, you may for example have a component with some stresses in and you may want to clamp it rigidly for roughing and then clamp it with less pressure for finishing. It's all possible. So everything's programmed through the, through the system. And what about then feedback? Let's say, for example, I said, and I often open some of these episodes um, that we're talking about on this compact machine about why do these things matter? But let's take, for example, that you haven't clamped something correctly. What's the impact of not doing things right? Well, if you have a system that doesn't clamp correctly, then that could release the component inside the machine. So we have to avoid that. So not only do we clamp the system here, but we also have a register within the fixture that says whether the component's located properly or not. And if it's not, the process doesn't start. So it's very important from a health and safety point of view, as well as a work holding and clamping point of view, that you get it right. And what about going from one to the other then? Let's say I'm going from, a, from one job or one fixture to another. Quick. Well, as, as you said earlier, there's no external hoses and there's nothing to unplug and plug. It's basically a case of lifting the, the fixture or the tombstone or the components straight off the table and putting the next one on. Everything's automatically interfaced. Not only is the machine quick, changing over the parts is fast as well. Absolutely incredible. The Hecate range, this is the compact range. If you've been watching our channel, we've done a series of videos about the technologies on this machine. And more importantly, Lee, what do we say? This is affordable tool, isn't it? It's affordable tool. It's been designed around affordability.